y'all. Welcome to Cajun Cooking TV. I'm Beryl Stokes and Mike has got an idea for me to cook this beautiful corn that is still in the husk in the oven and make you some niblet corn and it is easy. Okay y'all, let's get started. It's really simple and so he's got four whole corn for me here. And we did try this the other night, so we're not experimenting for the first time like we do sometimes. So I put these in the sink in water and rinse them. I don't want them to taste like dirt, like sometimes they do. I don't want that. <laughs> and I can tell you homemade niblet corn from corn on the cob yourself is so much better than out the can and less sodium, of course, but it's certainly better than frozen. I've had frozen corn and it was just awful. I don't like it. So this was really good, especially with some good old butter on it, butter and salt. So all I'm gonna do, I got the oven heated on 350. It's preheating for me. I'll just be placing these on our tray here. And all I did, there's a couple more of them, I trimmed these off because the other night I thought my oven was going to catch fire. Nobody wants that. And Mike thinks I'm going to save these corn husks so that we have emergency supply of toilet paper. The ultimate prepper he is. <laughs> Be right back. So I'm about to put these in the oven. We're almost at 350. But I asked Mike on the break where he, where he got this from, and he said, the Facebooks with an S, like there's more than one Facebook. So then I asked him, is it a video? And he said, no. I said, okay, is it a recipe? No. And I said, well, where the heck did you find it? It's not like Facebook put it out. And he said, oh, it's just a meme. I said, what? <laughs> We could have set the house on fire by trying this cockamamie meme. Who knew if it was true or not? And he's just going to try it. So anyway, I'm trying it tonight because we didn't burn the house down. <laughs> and it was actually good. So his meme find on the Facebook was really good. So I'm going to put these in the oven. See you in a bit. 30 minutes. All right, been 30 minutes, y'all. So I've got some corn here. I'll save these husks for Mike's uh, toilet paper prep. If he ever needs it, he can use it. So all I'm gonna do is cut this end off here. Super sharp knife, easily cuts through that. Now in Mike's theory, I'm supposed to be able to do this and just be able to shake it out or push it out. I don't think it works. <laughs> but it is pretty freaking hot here. So yeah, it does easily make all this little silk come out easy, which is a big deal for me. I, I can't stand that. And you can't get them all. So yeah, really nice. Well, they don't pop out like it said on the meme, but it sure does clean them off pretty good. So I'll give this an A plus. So let me get these shucked and I will come back and show you how I make my own niblet corn, not from a can. off very clean just have to pick a few more off I know some people love to boil corn and eat it with their teeth like a chipmunk but um I don't want to 
break my teeth. And it just looks barbaric. <laughs> like it's from the golden ages. So we like to cut it off. And there's still a lot of silk gold here, but I'll gradually get it all off. Okay. So, and they've cooled a little bit so I can hold it, thank goodness. So let me get this out the way for you. Can you see? Okay, so I firmly hold it. And you can do this with boiled corn too because that's what we've done most of our life. So I just take my sharp knife and go down and just go all the way around. As close to that cob as you can. And it provides some good flavorful corn. That hadn't been sitting in a can for a year. All right. So I'll get all these done and flavor it up and let Mike taste it. I love it when it's like this. That's sweet with nothing on it. All right, y'all, we have made some niblet corn. It's not out the can, not out the freezer, straight off the corn on the cob. And it is delicious. I love it like this. Now we did try something new and I will say, um, cooking it in the oven is so much easier than trying to boil a giant pot of water, wait for that water to boil and then, you know, cook it another 10 minutes or whatever. And then your corn is all watery. So cooking it in the oven, it cooks it, steams it, and then it's not as messy. So I've got some butter on our corn here. I love when you can get a bite like this it's so nice but it really is good oh here's one i'll take that one mm. so good that is good sweet corn but you know what i'm gonna put on it i'm not gonna put salt i'm gonna put some of this Mm-hmm. i like it on everything eggs corn everything Okay, y'all, we'll be showing you this, uh, how to make your own niblet corn. Be sure to check out our other videos um, at the link, and we will see you next time. It's a wrap.